Today, I want to share seven specific clothes that you should stop buying and what to look for to avoid looking shorter. Most videos have great outfit suggestions, what to shop for. I think it's important to see the bad as well, the real bad. So let's take a look at some bad decisions I've made so you don't have to. It's actually my fault because I didn't pick the right fit. So here we have regular petite or long or the right style. For example, would it be A-line versus drop waist style or the right color. And here we have monochromatic versus patterns. Here's the perfect example of an item that looks great online not so much in person and i'm not usually a duster person it's my first one and i like the idea of it a monochromatic neutral flattering color that blends in well and creates a cohesive visual the problem it's too long for my torso now take a look at where the pockets are i can't even reach them this is about a foot longer than what it should be I also noticed when I close it and wear a belt, the opening on top would be too visible. Now imagine a person with a longer torso who can reach the pockets. It means that the length would also stop at their calves, not the ankles like it does for me. It would look much better and I'm pretty sure it's also shortening me. Am I still keeping it? Yes, because I just don't use the pockets. Pattern colorful pants. And here is the next exhibit for you these skinny stretchy pants they're high-waisted I have them in three other colors they fit great and look fresh for the summer months the problem is this pattern now I want to show you side by side what a big of a difference it makes when you wear monochromatic versus patterns and especially on a white background which is already magnifying now this look is not only shortening my legs but adding extra dimension and volume now I can elongate it a bit with a white shirt and some pumps, but compared to a monochromatic rose pink, which is closer to the skin shade, for example, this floral print I find unflattering. Now the next dress is a classic shirt dress style. Very well made, fitted, thick material in a light monochromatic color. I bought it as a staple to wear for years. Now, what I noticed is that the length of this dress is cutting me off in the wrong spot. I like mini dresses, but somehow this fits differently. Now, where's the problem? It's making me look shorter. The arm opening is also slightly too big in diameter. I had to size up so there's room for my chest without stretching out the material. Long story short, I have to wear this dress carefully so that my bra doesn't show on the side. Now, if you can imagine this dress on a taller person, the hemline probably ends right under the knee and creates a nice uniform slimming look. On me, it looks big, ill-fitted, and creates the opposite effect of shortening me. Next is an example of a similar style, the midi length. In my silly impulse buy, I saw the skirt in the store window during my Italy trip and the mannequin it wasn't a full body one. It was without legs and I didn't see that it was sitting with a skirt folded. Now I didn't try it on in the store. I just knew I would like it. Once I got home and I tried it, I noticed I am swimming in it and not in a comfy way. Well, yes, it's comfortable, but not flattering. The problem it's way too long and round for my frame. So two issues here. Number one, you don't want any fabric to be changed at the waistline. The abundance of material can't start at the waist unless you're trying to wear a ball gown. You know, the Cinderella type of ball gown with a bell underneath. <laughs> Any other time, make sure that the chinching starts lower to avoid adding inches to your abdomen. So there's mistake number one. Number two, this length is way too long for me. Between the added inches in width and length, this skirt is overpowering my frame. Who doesn't like a nice pair of wide-legged, high-rise cotton jeans for when you want to look chic and not have to squeeze yourself in? I wear enough tight clothes during the week and the weekend for casual outings I prefer a relaxed fit now I also allow myself cheese which is very bloating by the way the problem I honestly don't know I've been trying for a year to figure out and exactly pinpoint why this pair doesn't look good on me maybe you can tell comment below and share 
Now, if I were to take a guess, it adds volume to my entire waistline and lower back, which is not flattering, or a place where you want to be bigger. It has these pockets that add volume front and back, extra material tailored, it's white and straight, the color is light, which is also adding volume. Just overall, there's nothing flattering about it. The added space, even between the pants and your skin, can work against you. Look bulkier, and this will automatically remove inches from your vertical line and transfer it to the horizontal line. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how to create the elongated legs effect, you might want to check it out. I explain in detail how to create height. The purple dress. This dress is such a gem. I like the casual everyday feminine look. It's that perfect dress that's low maintenance. You just throw it on a nice spring color and has details, shapes you well, and it leaves room for comfort all the way around. The problem, it's itchy. You see inside of the collarbone, there are these thin layers of elastic that touch the skin and they scratch me, not too much, but after about 30 minutes, I start moving it around and not to scratch in the same spot. It's such a shame because it's the perfect day dress. I like it so much that I was thinking about getting it fixed, perhaps with a strip of material sewn in to cover the elastic. And here's where we stop and think if it makes sense. Now, depending on the value of the garment, if it's a high quality fabric, you wanna see if it's even worth altering. You also might want to get quoted by a tailor before they do the work and again see if it's worth it. I recently had to alter a $200 dress which I bought on sale for $60 and the alteration was another $60 so I just doubled the cost. Now was it worth it? Yes, it's a classic fit that I will wear for a long time, you know, one of the kind type of piece. Otherwise, for this dress, I probably wouldn't spend this much, even though the cost was over $200 for it. And the last piece of fail is this gorgeous red coat, monochromatic, elongating, supposed to look very slimming on a taller person. And I have footage of how it looked like before. For the longest time, I couldn't understand why it didn't close well when I tied the wrap. There was this extra material at the opening and the belt kept riding up. It looked like it was meant for a taller person. Now some brands, the good ones, offer regular and petite sizing and I didn't consider myself petite, I'm 5'5". Five five. Now luckily I tried another one of their coats in petite and the fit was perfect. The solution for this wool coat, since it was a long-term buy, was that I had it resized. I shortened it till under the knee, which is where it was supposed to reach in the first place. I pulled back a little bit to create a waist and added an inside clutch button to close up the opening. Now these were all illusions that I created to flatter a smaller silhouette. I hope you learned from my mistakes and found useful tips to avoid outfits that make you look shorter. If you recognize some of these in your own wardrobe, share them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more styling tips. And if you haven't seen the short torso video, where I share do's and don'ts of how to dress for your frame. Well, it's coming up next. I'll see you there.